Hi YouTube, welcome Paying Respective. This is Megan aka Spear Street. Today is Friday and this week we are doing uh, my question. <laughs> so this was my question to the collab and it was all about what is the best piece of advice or inspiration uh, you have your, received about your path and what's the best advice or inspiration that you would like to pass on to the younger generation. So that's what I'm doing today. So, you know, when I wrote this question, it was because I was thinking about, you know, the generational gap, right? And, you know, I learned from my family, right, and my elders. And so many people in the community have learned from books or from peers, right? Sometimes from elders as well but not always. And so, you know, it's it's a different generational kind of continuum for a lot of people. And now, fast forward, those same people who might have learned just from books and uh, didn't have, a, you know, the elder sort of connection, you know, they're turning around now and they are going to be the elders if they aren't already. And so, what is it like now being in the position of being sort of the elder, right? Or at least getting there. <laughs> um, and then having this younger generation coming up. So I thought that it was just such an interesting kind of idea to think about, um, you know, what advice and inspiration really affected us in our path and what would we want to pass on now? This, this question, I think I want to start with saying, what advice do you want to pass on is something that I ask clients a lot. Um, so um, for those of you who don't know, um, I am a therapist, um, but I also am a life coach. Uh, so I do life coaching and um, I believe in the whole person. So that's why it's whole life coach Maui. Um, is me and I I believe that we should be looking at somebody as the whole being right and their spirituality is included in that and so you know when I think about you know passing on information and that advice I'm always asking clients what advice would they give themselves and sometimes you know um, I recently asked a client about what advice would their younger self give them today so we, all be, we always hear it usually the other way around, right? What advice would we give to our younger self, right? But our younger selves have uh, so much innate wisdom and uh, they see the world through a different lens. And so if we can put ourselves back there as a young person and say, what advice would my younger self give me now? If, it was, if my younger self was looking at my life now, what, what, would, what would they say? Um, and so I find that to be a really interesting question, which is why I pose this. So I'll start with, I think, what I would want to, um, or sorry, not what I would want to give on the advice, but I'm going to start with what advice I was given. And um, so there were many nuggets of wisdom that I was given um, growing up and, uh, and little things too, little... Um, especially around uh, simple sort of hedge witchy things like herbalism um, like if you have you know a cold or a cough or anything like that um, basically anything that ailed you <laughs> um, you have a toothache it doesn't matter anything that ailed you you would chew on a sweet grass um, braid so if you take sweet grass and you braid it um, and you have those uh, if you've got something wrong with you you chew on it <laughs> it's just that was sort of my household. Um, you know, so little things like that. But I would say the best inspirational piece of advice that, um, that I ever received. And, um, and I received it from a, a classmate, actually. Um, and, you know, it's funny when I wrote this question I thought I was gonna have something profound from my childhood that would be the big advice 
but actually it was something um, that came much more recently in the last decade or so um, and it was a classmate of mine and she told me that you know we as people strive to be extraordinary and we always feel like if we're not extraordinary then we're missing out on something and we look up to those people that are extraordinary and we had this conversation about what does it mean to be extraordinary and I really meditated on that and I thought about it and this idea and 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 we worked it together that extraordinary is what you make it if you believe it's extraordinary then it's extraordinary right so somebody might see um, it's that glass is half full or empty thing right someone might see a, a rainbow and very rarely ever see a rainbow and to them it's extraordinary but to somebody else who might see them every other day maybe they don't think of it as extraordinary right extraordinary right to them it might be ordinary and so it's all about making your life extraordinary and that's a motto that uh, my wife and I have and sort of our motto for our whole life is make life extraordinary and and it's extraordinary to you as long as you feel like you've lived an extraordinary life then or are living um, then you're doing it so that is that's my inspiration my advice that I received and I think what I want to pass on to the next generation coming up right is um, and I haven't had a chance to watch any of the other videos yet so I'm hoping I'm not repeating anything <laughs> um, but you know and I, I thought about this the other day actually with that same client um, is really that don't afraid to not have all the answers it's okay it, it's it's expected you can't know everything don't be afraid to say I don't know and that's okay and at the same time don't be afraid to speak up if you do know the answer if you know that answer and and you have a passion about something go for it keep learning keep being curious keep getting excited about things you don't reach a point in which you can possibly oh I've, I've learned too much I'm just gonna stop now no get excited about things and it doesn't matter if you change your major five times you know the, the whole idea is to get excited about life the curiosity of imagination keep it up when you say I don't know think to yourself I don't know do you want to know because if you do go find out you know there's this whole amazing world out there this whole extraordinary world out there that you know we in our in our lives we scratch the surface and the more that we can take in just the more breadth of experience that we'll have and you know what we might never get to all of it but man I'm gonna try <laughs> I want to just I want to go out just constantly trying new things having new adventures new experiences and who knows where that might lead me you know one day I'm today I'm in Maui who knows where I might be tomorrow the idea is though that I never want to stop learning I never want to lose that curiosity um, and this applies to my path because my path is holistically intrinsically part of my life part of my wife's life part of everyone's life around me it is a whole unit right um, and and I just I think that it's super important that we that we never stop shooting for the stars you know so anyway that would be it um, so uh, sorry about lighting and all that I'm, I'm rushing to do this um, but as always guys have a wonderful rest of your week blessed be and aloha